Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, we turn our attention now to uh, the matter which we started off with yesterday. It has to do with the Lagos Advertising and Signing Agency and uh, the posters, regulation and stipulations about how electionary materials need to be displayed in Lagos. Well, Tafik Gani joins us now. He's the Publicity Secretary of uh, the People's Democratic Party in Lagos. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Do you have any issue with Lhasa about distribution of posters? Very well, uh, because Lhasa has, rather than operate as a fair regulatory body, has actually been used to unleash on PDP uh, candidates, PDP campaigns, anything in legal states that you want to make yourself popular with is what LASA is uh, going after so as to reduce uh, the popularity of PDP in the state. Now, unfortunately, I am not so comfortable with LASA also allowing itself to be used because there are so many other state agencies like that already unleashed on uh, PDP as we go into this uh, uh, election. In the case of LASA, LASA is even speaking, frankly, an unconstitutional agency. You, its functions mean? are traverse. By the fourth schedule of our constitution, all about outdoor advertising, signage, and the rest are for the local government to control. And so it is not even tenable for anybody to say that local governments came together, compromised to violate the constitution, what do you mean and then ceded. No, no. I will explain to you, and then ceded their powers to a body that is unconstitutional, that is not recognized by law. And that was why in 2006, the Lagos State House of Assembly also abated this unconstitutionalism by passing the law that set up LASA. Because it is a clear constitutional provision that only the local government can control signage and outdoor advertising. So what you have now is a situation where maybe trying to be very proactive as to take perfect control of this type of situation. The state government have twisted the local government and then say that LASA must take up their responsibilities and now they are now controlling advertising. It is worse in areas... But that's not what Lassa says. That is exactly... Because, yeah, when they, he they says that the state government, uh, the uh, local government, yes. came together yes. and agreed and ceded that power to Lassa, a pass validated by state law. What is illegal No, it is illegal. It does not owe daughter that they ceded. That's what I'm saying, that you compromise your, or your, your own uh, power, you cede to something that is unconstitutional. It is a constitutional provision that you are the one that should do this. Mr. You now say you give it to somebody else. Mr. It is Mr. not tenable. It is just political Mr. and it is also for the economic interest Mr. of Gani, somebody. Just a moment. You know, this is actually coming very late in the day uh, because I'm sure that you've been in Lagos for a very long time. Your party has been in Lagos for a long time watching this unconstitutionality, you call it. Uh, it's 2015 and uh, Lhasa has been in existence. Let us face the problem that you have with that agency. If yes. you want to take the agency to court over its right to exist, that's a different kettle of fish. But it's been existing, regulating outdoor advertising and what have you. So let's come back to this issue. What is the issue that you have with this agency and why would you say that it is not fair? The issue that we have is what I have explained, that a, a body, an agency that is not known in law is exercising the powers meant for the local government and is doing that ultraverse okay, so you're and saying is against uh, our posters, if I'll get our you people's right, and if every if opportunity just, just for us moment. to campaign if in I'm this If I'm getting state. you right, are you, yes. say, are you saying then that you do not recognize this body and as such you cannot obey whatever rules and regulations are being set out by this body? Is that what you're saying? That would be like hastily concluding our own thoughts. No, what we're saying is that they know the law is clear, they are illegal. 
but we are not taking the laws into their ha our hands. I mean, I mean, we are not taking the laws and then flouting the other. That's why we're taking these steps, like we we'll let the other agencies, which the police, other agencies, like the police, the federal minister of works in the case of areas where the federal government are owned and the rest, to know that somebody somewhere is usurping the power meant for the local government. Because I tell you, it is not also true that LASA called a meeting of stakeholders or political parties to let us know how to paste posters or bibles and the rest. Because the manager who came here yesterday ought to have brought an evidence like to show us a letter saying that this is a copy of the letter we gave to PDP. We were not invited at all. I had this for the first time yesterday. Not only that, it is also not true that they are controlling, I mean, the placing of posters and uh, placing of uh, billboards in some major areas. They have also gone into the hinterland. I live in Oshodi, and anybody who lives in Oshodi knows uh, Sede Kalisto. Sede Kalisto is completely off the road. They went and they started removing. And by on their, their own admission, the, lo the Lhasa offices are located in all the local government areas. So it's not like they have just few major roads. No, they are concentrated in all the local government areas. The law setting up Lhasa, if you go read it well, is so bad that even if you wear a T-shirt on the road now and there's an advert, they have to stop you. Uh, how, no, 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 no. How, how but but we we'll Google now. What we we'll do now? What we we'll do now? What we we'll do now is that we will know, Google you know, the Lhasa we'll, website we'll, you know, and you will we'll, go we'll, into we'll, there we'll, and you will we'll see. We invited you because yesterday you were on Twitter. Yes. You said you had evidence yes. against Lhasa. Yes. And that's an agency established in 1996, not yes. even in 1999. No, so, in 2006. Uh, hold in 2006. On. 2006. Hold on. In 1996. 2006. So when have you been to their website? Except their website is wrong. I was forced to go on the website because I looked for the book, okay. the law book of uh, Lhasa. Did, did they find it? I, fo I found it eventually just about an hour ago. Mobology Bank Anthony, have you gone through that road? Very well. What do you find on every lamp pole? You find adverts, not in all the lamp holes. Every lamp pole on that road yes. has the advert of the PDP and the APC side by side. Yes. No, let us get these things right. See, LASA is an agency for the sake of this discussion now. Now, let me agree that, okay, can even uh, operate. It's an agency that is supposed to manage, regulate advertising. That agency, LASA, is not the one that should take advertising job per se. So what they are saying now, and why they have unleashed on us now is that they are taking up again a further role of saying that they are the ones that should take the advertising. What Lhasa can do at best is to say that, okay, we have this uh, lamp hole by us, not by federal government, not by any other person. Before you use it, you understand, you come to us. Now, we don't have, as a third party, we don't have any direct uh, re is it any reason to go directly to Lhasa, you go to the advertising practitioner. All right, so uh, there's no reason why Lhasa... For the billboard. Just, yes, just, for the billboard. Just, just hold a thought. Uh, pardon me to interrupt. We have yes. to take a commercial break. Okay. We'll be back after this.